For the first time in MK2 history, truck fans have a flatbed option for their 4x4 pavement bashing. And we're not talking about the El Camino. This is the brand new 2021 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro Widebody. And today, we're gonna check it out here in the studio, take it outside and see how fast it goes, and then we'll just bash it. If you're a Toyota fan, then you probably already know the TRD Pro is an optional off-road trim you can add to the Tundra to offer a suspension lift, upgraded springs, an aluminum skid plate, a nicer interior cabin, and more. It's a truck spec'd for the greater off-road adventure, or if you just want a little more luxury, which is a great starting point if you want to create a custom street truck for those low and slow cruise days. And that's exactly what this sporty Tundra has to offer plus more. Now, as many of you know, the RC Toyota Tundra is part of the Kyosho Ready Set series, sharing the same chassis with multiple different body options to choose from. All of the cars come assembled out of the box with the body painted and detailed, including all of the programmed electronics, only requiring a two-cell LiPo for the car and four AA's for the transmitter. The size of the Tundra is one-tenth scale, and it's equipped with the FZ02L long chassis, which gives it a 17.8-inch length, a 10.8-inch wheelbase, and a width of 7.6 inches, or 192 millimeters. The size is right on par with the one-tenth scale Huna truck, and a larger comparison with the Kyosho 8-scale off-road buggy shows the lengths are pretty similar, but that racing buggy has a much bigger footprint for its off-road use. The scale looks from the Toyota Tundra TRD Pro are pretty dang impressive too, and the truck uses a Lexan body painted in inferno red color, with decals and hard plastic accessories added to the Lexan body to enhance the realism of the truck. Now right up front is our hard plastic accessory, and it's the Toyota grille added to the front of the Tundra, and it's been secured on from the inside. The headlights on each side of that grille feature hard plastic buckets screwed on from the inside, and they feature a single 5mm LED hole to add your own LEDs if you want to. There's a single LED spot on each headlight. Now below that grill, it's been painted a matte black for a little bit more pop, and then on each side are decals to show our fog lights. Now moving on up, we have some black striped decals, and these are intended to indicate that these are vents, and this is an opening area to let the air in, but they're just decals on the hood. Moving up the hood, there is a decal over the window, and all the windows for that matter, that give them a tint plus a trim around the edge. The windshield also features windshield wipers, their decals as part of that windshield decal. Moving on up from that windshield, there is a sunroof on the very top with some nice lines built into the roof and then a little spoiler in the back. Now moving on to the sides, there are hard plastic mirrors on each side with reflective decals, and they've been attached from the inside with body clips. The side windows also have those tinting decals with more trim details added. There's also decals used for the side door handles and a few Toyota badges. Now if we move along the back, the rear window also features another tinted decal with more trim on it. There's also our flat bed back here and another hard plastic spoiler that's been screwed on just like the roof spoiler. Now below that rear spoiler all the way in the back, we have our tailgate. There's a tailgate handle for a decal. A few more decals are used as the badging and then the tail lights also feature a decal on there. But if you peel back the decal on the tail light, they're left clear and inside the body, there's two spots for five millimeter LEDs in each tail light. So you can illuminate those if you want to. Now the last thing that kind of stands out on this body is it has TRD Pro molded into the body, which is below the bed, kind of in the rear wheel well area. Now a really important detail about this body is that it's a wide body. So the fenders are flaring out really wide over the tires. The tires stay tucked underneath, giving it that sporty, aggressive feel. Now the tires and wheels are also a big part of the look and feel of this truck, and they are black five-spoke wheels with rubber treaded tires glued onto that wheel. The back side of the wheel features a 12 millimeter hex, so pretty much any other TC or drift style wheel should bolt right up onto this phaser. 
Now behind the wheels is another part of the scale realism of this truck and it's the scale discs and calipers attached to the car. And they have the wheel hex attached to them. Now what's nice is you can adjust the width of this vehicle really easy by swapping out that hex disc because what's included on the vehicle are zero millimeter offset hexes. But also included in the car are plus five millimeter hexes that will push out each side five millimeters giving the vehicle a 200 millimeter width. Now if we pop the body off the Tundra, we can see underneath that this chassis is pretty dang standard if you're familiar with the Phaser MK2, and we've featured many of them on this channel before. They're a really good, simple, easy to work on, to maintain, to drive vehicle. And it starts with a plastic tub chassis. You have a gearbox on the front and the rear with gear differentials, an independent suspension on each corner, oil-filled shocks, and a center drive shaft supplying all the power. One of the coolest things about this chassis that I really enjoy is how symmetric the parts are left to right and even front to rear for some of them they're the same parts so having spare parts on hand to service any breakages you may have is a lot easier when parts are shared now all the drive shafts on each corner are plastic and the center drive shaft is plastic too but there is an optional aluminum center drive shaft which is a great upgrade if you want to put a 3s brushless system in this and there's a lot of other upgrades and option parts you can add to these vehicles like the different aluminum shocks the metal drive shafts carbon fiber shock towers the list goes on and on now for the power system inside the Tundra, it features a 550 sized brushed motor. It's a 14 turn and it's connected into a 60 amp ESC that sits underneath this plastic shroud. So you have to pop one screw to remove this shroud and access the ESC. Attached to the speed controller is a T-style battery connector. So whatever battery you use, it's gonna need to have a T-style. With the shroud off, you can also get a good look at the receiver that's underneath there, and that receiver is paired to the Synchro KT231P transmitter that's included, and it's a pretty nice transmitter with lots of different trims and adjustments. Now this is tricky to see, but the servo that's underneath this forward shroud is the KS202W Kyosho servo, and it is waterproof. Hey, this car's not gonna drive itself. Subscribe. All right, we've got a two cell LiPo battery here that's all charged up, so let's go find out how fast is the Toyota Tundra. With our charged two cell LiPo, we jump right into those speed runs. And it's pretty dang hot outside at 101 degrees Fahrenheit, but that didn't slow down our Tundra, which after a few passes reached a high speed of 26 miles an hour. Now after the speed passes, we immediately thrashed in the loading dock, which is just a few hundred feet away from our speed run areas, and we just let it rip, showing no mercy on the throttle, just for our own thrills, and to see how hot the motor could get on a day this hot. Impressively, when we finished thrashing around in this area, the motor wasn't even that hot, and I was able to keep my finger on it for at least three seconds comfortably. Now from our experience out there, the truck has a lot of low end pep. It's pretty dang punchy. It has no problem with the point and shoot. The gearing seems pretty conservative where it is geared a little bit lower to ensure those electronics don't overheat in a variety of situations. So there is definitely some room where we could gear up a little bit for more RPM top end on cooler days. It's punchy, huh? Very punchy. That low end throttle punchiness was especially fun when we did a little driving in the dirt, throwing some roost and kicking up dust. This platform is not for off road, but a little soft dirt never hurt anyone. Now in the end, here's how dirty the inside of the chassis got after driving in that dirt and dust. It's really not that bad. And I cleaned it all out with a brush and a can of compressed air. We have a little upgrade in mind for the truck. We've got light buckets up front in the headlights, so let's add some LEDs and make them shine. Now to do it, we're just gonna use this two string of clear LEDs, and then to make the plug compatible, we have this adapter where one unplugs into the LEDs and the other end plugs right into the receiver. 
Now installing these lights is pretty easy. You just unscrew the LED retainer on the buckets, put in the LED and reinstall that retainer, do a little wire management, and then plug in the adapter to channel three on the receiver, and voila. Now the last thing for us to change are these tires and wheels because we can make them look so much better and we're gonna install the fancy drift tires and wheels from DS Racing. These are the same wheels and tires from our drift car series and they look fantastic. The only thing to note is that the red caliper needs to be removed from the hub in order for the wheels to fit. Now it's worth noting the Toyota Tundra, it's not a proper drift car, but there's no reason you can't put some drift tires and get sideways or do some power sliding. On our drift track here at our local hobby shop, it's a bit narrow and it's very challenging to get around. We found a lot better success just by drifting and power sliding in the open carpet area. Regardless, it was still a lot of fun and the Toyota Tundra is a really cool truck. Guys, go check out the Phaser MK2 Toyota Tundra by following our links down below. And if you want more RC, check out these videos.